Yeah, I'm Edith Rudith Mukanga from Tanzania, uh, where I work with a local organization to which I'm also the founder and executive director. EBEDO um, works towards uh, building the capacities of small scale fishers, men and women. And through that work, we have convened the national network of women fish workers in the country. Why do they need subsidies? It's because the role that women play in the sector is very, very significant. And yet, I'm always sad to, to mention that this significant role is not well appreciated, is not well recognized, and you cannot see anywhere a data mentioned in the you know, national economies. So, with this, women work in a very difficult situation in terms of the infrastructures and in terms of numbers in the processing uh, subsector, women are the majority, almost more than 90%. So they contribute a lot towards feeding the world. They contribute a lot towards you know, the livelihoods of the people in the, in, in, in the countries. So why would they need subsidies is for them to be able to add more value into the fish and the fish products, but also to improve the processing facilities, for example. And, you know, for them to reach the market, they need to transport their fish and fish products to the market. So what about the infrastructure that would enable them to be into the market on time while the products are still good. So all these subsidies are important into a creating an enabling environment for women to be able to, you know, to enjoy their work. Women are very potential actors in the, in, in the sector, but they have limited capacities. And these limited capacities, in, I can look at it in, in different ways. One is the capacities to organize themselves. Because for these subsidies to work, I mean, we need to bring the women together so that they can, you know, unify their voices and to amplify their needs, you know, and, you know, uh, that will be able to improve the environment that they work in. So, Capacities is not just in terms of like finances for them to organize, but also to facilitate them to be able to, 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 to be mobile, to participate in uh, decision-making processes that happen at different levels, at the national level, at the you know, regional level, and even at the international level, because in the end, all these policies impact on the women. So without the voices of women in the decision-making you know, tables, then will be missing a significant you know portion of the of these policies of the fiscal policies that will respond uh, to the needs of the women